Hey guys, Vanilla. Um, I'm working on some tutorials here, and I would just like to share with you uh, so that you don't have to struggle through the nightmare of figuring out um, UDK on your own. Now, what is UDK? UDK is obviously a game creation engine, Unreal Development Kit. Uh, it's vast, you can basically do almost anything with it. I'm sure if you're crazy enough, you could probably make some porn. I shouldn't have said that. Anyways. What next? What next? What next? So, you got your spawn points. You know, I'm in FFA game mode right now. And actually, I'm going to switch over to Team Deathmatch, just because for some reason, within UDK, you spawn automatically, and that's nice. So you're not waiting seven seconds to move around. So where the hell are we? We're on a default map that UDK provides. And so this is nice, but I would like to uh, add some objects. And I, I'm going to get to landscapes in another, another video. I just want to show you some very basic stuff that is just very good to know, very concrete. I'm not going into too much depth, as I'm still learning myself. So I'll show you the content browser. The content browser holds absolutely everything in the game. Anything you can imagine. So, you know, if you come across a sound note, uh, double click it and it'll play a sound. Or uh, if you come across a... I don't know what that is, a fractured step. Okay, for instance, click static meshes. All these things come up. You know, you got a tree. Yay, there's a tree. Um, what else? You, you got a stairs. There, there it is. Sorry. This gets in the way a lot. You'll get used to it. I'll try to go as quick as possible here. But anyways, you know... So let's take this this static mesh right here. The static mesh is uh, what it sounds like. It's a static mesh. It's an object. It's movable anywhere. Uh, you you remember to press space. It'll toggle through these uh, options here. This is to move. This is to rotate. This is to size. If you feel it's too big, size it down, and then move it down. And if you'd like to duplicate it, hold Alt and drag. Control Z, remove. Hold Alt and drag. There you go. So, judging by this static mesh, which I would like to find in Content Browser, you do that, comes up. Sometimes with static meshes, it'll say no collision at the bottom. This one doesn't have that. So, if I spawn in the game, and I'm on Team Deathmatch. I can walk up it. I can hit it. I can yell at it. And, for instance, if I would like to maybe, you know, make that as a bridge that goes over. Um, drag. Transform. The green down here is the Y axis. So, according to that, if I transform on the y-axis, it'll flip around. Yeah, it flips around like that. That's just for ease. You know, you don't actually need to do that. It's just things I like to do. And let me try this again. So like that, um, rotate 180. Grab these two arrows and nicely place, say, there. Obviously, it's not you know, greatly aligned or whatever. But anyways, you got a bridge. And, oh, you can go under it. Nice. So it's nice and fancy. 